conversations continue on the United States Postal Service's 10-year Delivering for America plan. Our Parker Brown has been following developments and the concerns of some postal workers. He's in studio now with an update on the plans for the Dakota Central Processing Center. It's our top story tonight. Hello, Parker. Hey, Brian and Andrea. Earlier this month, the U.S. Postal Service held their public meeting in Sioux Falls over the impact the new plan would have on the area. They said they couldn't answer any questions about the study conducted in Huron because the study was not completed yet. Now the study is complete and it brings a lot of the same concerns from the American Postal Workers Union. The president of South Dakota's branch of the Postal Workers Union, Todd West, says that the union first heard about the new plan last summer, but the impact on Dakota Central wasn't known until November. The biggest impact that you're going to see with this is local service. Someone mailing a letter from here into here, from Watertown to Watertown or Watertown to Pier or anything like that, anything in eastern South Dakota is going to be impacted the worst as far as I can see. Under the new plan, mail from much of eastern South Dakota will be processed in Fargo, North Dakota. The Dakota Central Processing and Distribution Center would change to a local processing center. West says that delays are almost inevitable. It could impact a large region, including many rural communities. There's no way that you can take and send something 250 miles and expect it to get back without delay. And then you talk to employees up there in Fargo, North Dakota office, they said they couldn't handle the mail they had then. An anonymous postal worker told Dakota News Now that another nationwide concern is an initiative called Local Transportation Optimization, or LTO. Typically, mail collections are done twice a day, but this system takes out the evening collection times to be more efficient. While it isn't implemented everywhere yet, many postal workers say that this also creates a service delay. So basically, if you came in and put a letter in the mail after 8 o'clock in the morning, it's there till the next day. You come in to mail a package at the window at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be there till the next day. West says that the best way for residents to raise their concerns is to reach out to South Dakota's members of Congress, encouraging them to speak to the Postmaster General. He told me that he believes most postal workers are not worried about losing their job in the changes, but they feel like the changes are just not right and would degrade mail service. Brian and Andrea. Parker Brown tonight. Parker, thank you.